So I'll just go ahead and execute my payload over here and I'll just go ahead and start it. I should be getting a session open over here, something like that. Okay, perfect. So session one is open. So I'll just go ahead and type sessions hyphen L. So it will give me the sessions that are open and I'll just go ahead and type one. So I have the meter printer prompt open. So if I want to go ahead and let's say I'll just type use hyphen M or CESS. Let me check. Okay, so I need to go ahead and uh, update the process module. So for that, I can just go ahead and type PS and it will show me the process. And the reason why I am not able to go ahead and install the process module over here, the reason for that would be because I already have a process module installed. It will only go ahead and duplicate the effect. I'll then just go ahead and type help and I can see the all of these exact things which are already here. So you don't actually need to go ahead and create any kind of process. Uh, I'll just go ahead and show you where exactly is the process command it is ps okay perfect list running processes or terminate a killing or running process so this is how it works like so after the extension has been loaded a new commands can be easily added uh, to this feature to this set of features so um, i'll just show you some more thing that i'll just go ahead and show you how read works like uh, it reads data from any specific spe uh, supply channel and as you can see, uh, it's giving a channel ID to go ahead and read. So I can go ahead and read anything. So what it does is that it actually reads a from a communication channel. If I'm trying to communicate with someone, it will go ahead and read all the data. It's encrypted or unencrypted. It doesn't matter. It will straight away go ahead and read that. If I want to write something or poison something in that communication communication channel, I can go and type write and I can go ahead and write anything I want. So I can just go ahead and write it on a communication channel or write the contents of a file on a disk or anything like that. After that we have close that closes a communication channel. So I can just go ahead and type close. It will close the supply channels provided that I had to provide it with the channel ID. And after that we have the help. So as I have already showed you what help does that it will display all the registered commands. If I go and type exit it will go ahead and disconnect me from the meterpreter session and um, we have finally we have subsystem so uh, subsystem extensions are feature extension commands so i'll explain that to you later on not at this point of time then we have load library i can just go and type load lib okay i believe that this command was removed uh, but uh, previously it used to go ahead and load a library on the remote endpoint and it uses a feature extension module that's process manipulation and execution of command if i go ahead and type execute it will ask me what it wants to execute i can go ahead and execute a process or dummy executable length or uh, anything but it will be on the remote machine endpoint uh, if i go ahead and use the kill option it will go ahead and kill one or more processes on the remote endpoint ps will list all the processes and I can also go ahead and uh, use a, any specific file name. Let's say for example, if I wanted to execute any file on the remote machine, I can type execute uh, hyphen F and uh, any, it would be the file name over here. Let's say for example, test. I don't have anything on the remote machine in my windows, but if I had, it will straight away go ahead and execute that. Let's see if I could go ahead and execute the command prompt. Okay, you must specify an executable with an F, but it will not go ahead and able to execute it because I have nothing named okay it was created great so let me go ahead and check the it's 2648 so let me check the process if it's created okay perfect so i have the 2648 process created i'll just go ahead and kill it 2648 again i'll just go ahead and check okay 2648 was killed perfect so this is how it looks like exactly and as you can see I have the payload over here and running and execute uh, running perfectly I'll just go ahead and migrate it to the Explorer so that uh, I, no one will be able to see me so let's see if I'm perfect and I'll just go ahead and see I should get something okay I, as you can see I can uh, the person who has this will not be able to see whether I was um, there on their PC because you will not be able to see the payload file so similarly I can also go ahead and supply the H argument hyphen H argument or the hyphen A hyphen H for creating hidden processes hyphen A for would be the arguments to pass to the executable using the execute command and hyphen C to channelize the input and output and I can kill multiple things at one point of time so just let's say for example if I wanted to kill uh, the let me check if something is not necessary 
so everything is necessary I believe over here so I'll just go ahead and open let's say a media player and I want to kill the process let's say I'll also go ahead and open chrome okay so I'll just go over here so let's say I wanted to go ahead and kill these processes so multiple processes at one point of time so as you can see I have the chrome over here with 3504 and WM player with 2932 so I can just go ahead and type kill 3504 and 2932 it will go ahead and kill all the processes and if I go and check PS as you can see 3932 was deleted and but uh, let me check just 3932 2932 and 3504 so 3504 was killed so but chrome once is still running so I'll just go ahead and delete that as well I'll just go ahead and copy it and I'll go ahead and kill that as well 3296 not valid okay let me check okay bad command okay we have chrome up and running but the media player has stopped so let me check 292696 so I'll just check okay I believe the chrome should have stopped by now it's still running okay we have another process chrome eats up a lot of RAM let's see okay perfect it's disabled now so this is how we can go ahead and kill multiple processes as well if you want to execute uh, any command then you can go ahead and type execut that's execute hyphen f cmd hyphen c and we'll go ahead and execute that specific command let me check if as you can see i have the command over here prompt if i had written something over here then it would go ahead and straight away run that prompt perfect so <coughs> execute uh, does actually go through and runs any kind of process if I wanted I want to go I can also go ahead and switch to interactive console so I can just go ahead and type interact one and it will go ahead and interact with channel one and similarly I can do multiple things like that uh, and the person over here will not even be able to uh, understand exactly what is trying to what is actually happening so uh, then we have uh, eco interpreter interactive channel in the action which I could go actually go ahead and execute through the command and uh, finally I can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and check all the help uh, options over here which will help you understand the importance as to what exactly all things were, what we can do and uh, if the person was running on proxy what are the proxy configuration and multiple things so that's it for this tutorial and before I end this thing I just like to tell you that you can go ahead and type control C to go ahead and get back to where you were exactly and I'll just go ahead and close this over here so a few things before I close this tutorial is that a number of other extensions exist that provide potentially useful commands the entire extension system is easy and to modify and customize thus allowing for more advanced extensions to be written in the future and the extensions that would be included would be FS that would provide interaction with the file system on the remote machine uh, next one is net that provides interaction with the network stack on the remote machine process uh, that provides interaction with processes on the remote machine and finally we have sys sys that provides interaction with the environment on the remote machine so yes uh, that's all with uh, that's um, only with how uh, as far as we can go with the uh, meter pedal prompt so that's it for this tutorial guys in the next tutorial I will be starting with metasploit and how exactly metasploits are different from the meter and how um, flexible they are